What's up everybody? So this is Ella, my 10 year old. She's in fifth grade and she has a science fair project coming up. Out of all the different cool science fair projects making volcanoes, she wanted to take two of the most overrated and two of the most underrated electrolyte drinks on the market today and test their electrolytes. So we are doing an actual science experiment here with Powerlift, Prime, Gatorade, and Saps. And what we're doing is we're measuring the electrolytes inside each of these drinks and we're gonna determine which one actually has the most electrolytes. I think it's also very important for us to figure out which one of these drinks is actually healthy because we all know that some of these drinks are made with artificial ingredients, some of them are made with natural ingredients, some of them have nothing but sugar, some of them actually have protein. So there's a lot going into each of these drinks and I think this is gonna be a really cool experiment. What do you think, Al? All right, Ella, so before we get to experimenting, do you think Gatorade's gonna win? Do you think Prime is gonna win? Do you think Powerlift is gonna win? Yeah. Really? So you think Saps is gonna win? Yeah. So what is your hypothesis? Saps is the best. Saps is the best? <laughs> Why is it the best? Because it's good. Because it's good. <laughs> So the first thing we're doing is testing the distilled water. So we're doing the Gatorade. 32.6. And now we're going into Prime. Ready? Yep. Fifty point one. Dip it, and then now we're going in the power lift. Okay. Yep. Forty six. point three. So now we're doing saps. Oh, oh my gosh. No, it was 138 point something. Yeah. You're getting the hang of this stuff now. All right, Elsa, we've done a few readings. We gotta do five total readings, all right? Cause then we're gonna get an average. So let's go ahead and keep doing it. So we can try to figure out the average and that'll tell us which one of these drinks actually has more electrolytes on average. <laughs> and also after every single test like we've been doing, we're gonna re-copper our straw and we're gonna pour out our distilled water and change it so that we can get a reading of 0.00, .00 before we get started. SAPS is the clear winner as far as what has the most electrolytes, but right now I think it's also important for us to look at the nutritional label and see which one of these drinks is really a better sports drink for us. We're talking about in the middle of an exercise, in the middle of heavy endurance, and you need something to replenish your body. So let's take a quick peek. I don't have a Gatorade with me, but I do have the nutritional label right here. And we're gonna look at each serving, right? So one serving is gonna put 140 calories back into your body. 270 milligrams of sodium, 75 milligrams of potassium, 36 grams of carbs, 34 grams of that is sugar, zero protein. But more important than just the nutrition label, let's take a look at what's actually in the ingredients because I'm an ingredient snob. So I'm gonna take a peek at this and I think you know where this is going. Water is the first ingredient followed by sugar. That's why they taste so good. Dextrose, citric acid, salt. We don't know what type of salt, but it's salt. Sodium citrate, monopotassium phosphate, natural flavors, which I don't like too much, and then yellow five. So an artificial color as well. Truthfully, I, I'm not a fan of Gatorade, so I would stay clear of that. Now let's take a look at one of the most popular drinks of our time, and that is Prime. All right, so Prime is going to give us, per serving, 25 calories, 10 milligrams of sodium, not a lot of sodium there, six grams of carbohydrates, one gram of sugar. As parents, we look at these labels and we're like, oh, this is a great drink to give our kids. You know, they taste good, they like them, they're hip, they're cool. We look at the label and we kind of get misled because we think this actually is a healthy drink. Well, let's take a look. So there's filtered water, then there's coconut water from concentrate. And that is why this tastes so sweet. That is why Prime has such a good flavor because they're using coconut water from concentrate, making it really, really sweet tasting. There's a ton of other random stuff. This is a very long list of what is in this. They use vegetable juice for color. There is natural flavors. There is sucralose, which is a fake sugar, but it triggers your body 
into doing the same thing as sugar is going to do. So it's not good to consume high amounts of sucralose. There's some amino acids, beta carotene for color, and some vitamins. Listen, I'm not gonna hate on Prime. I think what Logan Paul and the, and the team did with Prime is cool. They made a really, really cool sports hydration drink, and this is a very popular drink. Obviously, a lot of the kids are loving drinking Prime, so I would just try to be very careful consuming a lot of these when you're not super, super active. Another thing is there's, they're lacking a lot of the salt. They're lacking salt. So when you're dehydrating or you are sweating a lot, you actually sweat out a lot more salt than anything else, and you really want to include include more salt in your rehydration drinks. I'm not gonna hate on Prime, it's a really popular drink, but I wanna take a look at two drinks that you've probably never heard of. One of those being Powerlift. So Powerlift is a drink that I was introduced to by a few of my friends that are athletes and they love Powerlift and I had never even heard of it. So let's take a look at Powerlift. In one serving, you're gonna get 50 calories. Of those calories, 240 milligrams of sodium, so already more sodium than you're getting in Prime. One gram of carbohydrate, zero sugars, 10 grams of protein. So you're getting protein in an electrolyte drink, which is great. All right, so let's take a look at the ingredients. Water, whey protein, isolate. There are natural flavors in this. Fruit and vegetable juice for color. Monk fruit juice concentrate. That's why it tastes sweet as well. There is salt, B vitamin blend, and multiple other vitamins. Another thing when you kind of work your way down to the bottom here is there's citric acid and stevia leaf extract. That's another reason that this is gonna have a really good taste. And when we allowed people to take samples and compare Prime and Powerlift and Saps and the other drinks that we had, they actually were like, oh, that tastes just like Prime. So Powerlift is a great option if you're looking for electrolytes, branch chain amino acids, and protein to replenish after a workout. Powerlift is awesome. I love that you can get protein in your electrolyte drink. Great job, Powerlift. Now let's take a look at the winner, and that is Saps. You, I guarantee you have never heard of Saps unless you follow my channel or my Instagram. You see me talk about and drink Saps all the time, especially when we're doing sauna and contrast therapy sessions, okay? So let's take a look at the Saps label. Now this is a very new drink to market, all right? And I do have links down in the description below for Powerlift and Saps with a discount code if you'd like to try some for yourself. In a serving of Saps, and here's the cool thing, right? 35 calories, of those calories, 550 milligrams of sodium. 10 grams of carbohydrate. There are five grams of sugar. Now, when you are replenishing carbohydrates in the form of sugar and salt in the form of sodium is okay. That's actually something you're gonna wanna consume when you're trying to rehydrate. In one of these, you have 250% of your daily allowance of vitamin D3, which is really cool. And there's a ton of other vitamins and minerals that are in this drink. But let's just take a look at a few of the things that stand out to me. 130% of your daily allowance of folate, 210% vitamin B12, and there's 25% magnesium. So you're getting some minerals and some vitamins that you're not necessarily getting in the other drinks, but also some things that a lot of people tend to be deficient in. Now let's take a look at the actual ingredient list. Water, evaporated coconut water, once again, something that's going to taste a little bit sweeter, and that's why these drinks taste so sweet. There are natural flavors in this, so all four of these drinks have natural flavors. I wish there was a way to get rid of all that, okay? Magnesium sulfate, calcium lactate, salt, monk fruit extract. There's a few other things in this that there's not in the other drinks. You have shiitake mushroom extract, Panax ginseng extract, L-glutamine, and ginger root powder. There's no big surprise to me that this one, as far as having more electrolytes, it says it on the bottle right here, 1,900 milligrams of electrolytes, three different adaptogens, it's gluten-free and zero sugar added, right? Five times the hydration power than leading sports drinks. So Saps is awesome. We drink a lot of Saps here. Whenever we're sweating a lot, we definitely let the kids drink Saps. Now there's a lot of electrolytes in here and you probably don't wanna consume more than one or two of these when you're doing a very vigorous exercise because you are replenishing with the electrolytes that you really need to replenish when you're drinking a Saps. I definitely like Saps personally, I'm a big fan. And if you wanna try some of this for yourself, there will be links down in the description below for you to check out. So we've done five readings. What did we find out so far? We found out that Saps has the best electrolytes. Saps I mean, has, the has the most electrolytes. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So now we're gonna convert it, do all of our math, and then figure out what our end result is.
So Ella, now that the science fair is over, which electrolyte wellness drink had the most electrolytes? Saps. Was that your hypothesis? Yeah. What, what made you think that? Because it was the best. So if somebody wants Saps, what should they do? They should buy it. <laughs> All right, so the science fair is concluded and we had a lot of fun making this electrolyte insight. It's always fun to do stuff with you, boo. So we found that Saps was the winner and the Gatorade was the worst. And if you wanna try some Saps or Power Lift, we'll have links down in the description below you can check out. Hope you guys all have a great day. See you in the next video. God bless.